Hello and welcome, it's Bushwacka here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video we're going to set up an extremely power efficient and easy to use solar system. It also is ever expandable, so you only have to build this once and add as many solar panels as you want. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is show you guys my setup. I have 10 solar panels here. and I decided to make them have the single output so the network and the power all come into just one slot makes it a lot easier and I'll show you how I work around some of that um, as you can see all this power comes around here it feeds to my base and it also feeds to this APC here Jetpack low. so as you can see for this tutorial, you're going to need a lot of cable coil. You're going to need an APC with a battery in it. For the initial programming, you'll need a computer, but after that, uh, you sh will be able to delete it. Um, you'll need a, let's see here, a construction kit sensor, just one. You'll need one logic processor, one logic memory, and one logic okay so now let's go ahead and throw up our logic memory now I've made this so the power coming in is separate than the data and power coming out this just makes it so you don't like feed that power through in a loop and create lots of problems for yourself so we're gonna place our logic memory on the very end and this is the only point that we'll need the computer for so let's go ahead and turn on the computer we'll create a new state and now before I go programming this out, I guess I can explain it a little bit. We're going to be doing some math and it turns out that if you place your sensor uh, down and face it towards like the rising sun or the setting sun, instead of getting uh, 0 to 90 to 0 as your outputs, you will get 0 to 180. Now because that is a very nice number to work with instead of going from like I said 0 to 90 to 0 and because the solar panel settings go from 0 to 100 we can take the solar angle which would go up to 180 divide it by 1.8 uh, because the maximum you'll ever get out of that would be 100 and that will make the solar panels follow the Sun so the problem is with the logic memory if you come here and you try to adjust it you can increase it by 100 you can increase it by uh, 10 I believe 10 but you can't increase it by decimal points so that's why we're gonna come in here for our conditions we just need something that would work so computer is on because that will trigger our state to actually go through and then we'll say logic memory setting is new value 1.8 confirm okay and then we can play this and once you do that our logic memory is now set to 1.8 you can turn off the computer and you do not need it anymore now this is the only way I found to do it if you guys have any other ways go ahead and leave that in the comments um, using the computer kinda sucks for doing that so now ahead now we can go ahead and place this sensor down like I said we want to face it not straight up we want to face it out towards the rising sun, towards the setting sun. I believe even if you do it the, to the north or to the south, it will do the same thing. So then we want to do, we'll do our logic processor. We'll place that down. Now I made sure to uh, have all my wiring so that we have four slots here. Uh, we want to point our power down, like I said. Now we want to use our logic reader in one of these slots and then we want our logic batch writer in the final slot so now you can take out your screwdriver uh, we'll we'll wait to turn these on until we have everything figured out here we'll want to take and take the logic reader we want to read from the daylight sensor and we want to take the value, it's kind of hard to see here, 
we want to take the value of solar angle. So now that's going to be in our logic reader. So once we turn this on, it'll read that solar angle. We want to take our logic memory. We want to take what is getting read from our solar angle, logic reader. We want to, and it's getting pretty dark here, we want to divide by logic memory, which is 1.8. So there we go. And then the final step, we want to take our math and whatever that comes out as. So let's see, our input will be our logic math. We want to output to the solar panels. And we'll want to write to the vertical plane for that. So now we can go ahead and turn these on. So we'll turn on the logic reader and we'll see what it says. So 120 degrees, so it's reading 120 degrees. We're going to turn our logic math on. So that's taking 120 degrees, dividing it by 1.8, and it's giving us 68. And then we want to turn on our batch writer, and that is going to write that position to all of our solar panels. Now you can see that they're all turning, and we can go ahead and jump up here. So if we look, if we were to want to tilt these upwards, we can grab a wrench here. It'll go back to whatever it's reading. But you can see, so vertical 73, slowly, and it's even moving, 74. So these solar panels will constantly track the sun all the time. And at night, it just so happens that this daylight sensor happens to read the angle anyway. So you can see it says question mark degrees, but if you look in the batch reader, it still is reading something. So I don't know if this will uh, work forever, but it appears to be working now. As you can see, I've gone ahead and fast forwarded the video. You can watch as the solar panels constantly track the sun. Each of the solar panels will generate between about 400 and 500 watts of power consistently through the day whenever the sun is shining. This really is the most efficient setup, and like I said before, you can continue to add as many solar panels to the setup as you desire. I know I've had some audio issues in the past, and luckily I got a brand new microphone, so hopefully uh, this is sounding quite a bit better. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments how the volume is doing. Again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.